question is an antenna array consists of two dipoles separated by a lambda and are fed by currents of same magnitude and phase determine normalized array factor angles of nulls angles of maxima draw group pattern now it will become very easy but there are two more things that has been added angles of null and angles of maxima these are the two things new things that we are going to see in this particular question so what are the data that has been given uh, so i will write here solution so what are the data that has been given so given data two antennas consist of two dipoles yani that means number of dipoles is how many two dipoles separated by lambda so what is the value of d it is equal to lambda and are fed by currents of same magnitude and phase see alpha is equal to 0 actually what happens always remember student have a little confusion in this so i will uh, try to clear it uh suppose these are the current suppose suppose this is one current another element these are the suppose n elements okay now here this is fed with current i0 this is i alpha this is i2 alpha and so on in element in antenna arrays so what is alpha actually alpha is a phase difference that means what is the phase difference between this and this it is alpha what is the phase difference between this and this it is again alpha so alpha means it is a basically phase difference between the two current carrying elements here it is saying that uh, fed by current of same magnitude and phase that means everyone is in the same phase so same phase means what will be the value of alpha it will be zero that means same phase means what if it is alpha it is also in alpha it is also in alpha so what is the phase difference it is zero isn't it so alpha is basically actually the phase difference between the two current carrying antenna so alpha is equal to zero and d is equal to lambda we have to find normalized array factor we need to find normal okay one by one we will check fine so this is one confusion that i have cleared isn't it how i have taken alpha to be zero okay so alpha is nothing but the phase difference between the two consecutive current carrying antenna so the first one normalized array factor is simple to calculate so the first one okay let us take the first one it is asking normalized array factor it is very simple normalized array factor just now we have seen array factor mod of af n now just now we have seen that for two element array okay for two element array for two element array what is your normalized array factor so in the previous question we have seen that it is basically mod of cos of psi by 2 isn't it so here what is psi so here psi is equal to alpha plus beta d cos theta isn't it what is the value of alpha it is 0 plus beta 2 pi upon lambda d is how much it is lambda into cos of theta so some terms are getting cancelled so lambda lambda i am getting only 2 pi cos theta isn't it so what is the normalized array factor so normalized array factor is how much it is equal to cos of pi of cos theta correct so normalized array factor is how much cos of pi cos theta so this is the answer for the first part now coming to the second part what is they are asking angles of nulls see what is the basically null means null means null means point at which electric field is zero point at which e field is zero correct e field is zero now what we know that array factor it is equal to total field divided by e not isn't it so point at which either you can say net at which net e field is zero at which net e field is zero so array factor is equal to et upon e not or this is basically uh, that means 
this is array factor is not it. So, how we define array factor? Array factor is equal to the total field divided by the element because radiation pattern is equal to how we said. See listen very carefully. I said that the radiation pattern in the previous question I said that radiation pattern it is equal to element factor element factor multiplied by array factor is not it. So, how you will define array factor? So, array factor is nothing but your radiation pattern divided by element factor. Now, always remember these are basically in terms of electric field only. So, that means the radiation pattern is the total electric field divided by the element factor. Now, if you go for the antenna arrays, if you have studied thoroughly, you will come to know this about these things. So, in short, I have just given this value. So, description actually we have done in the class and you have also read somewhere or we have also you will be knowing it. So, array factor is equal to E t upon E naught. Now, it is saying that nulls, nulls means where E t is equal to 0. So, if E t is equal to 0 that means array factor is equal to 0. So, that means I have to find those points where array factor A f is become normalized array factor is becoming 0, is not it. So, therefore, therefore, so nulls at which net electric field. So, if E, e t is equal to 0 that means what? A f has to be 0 that means cos of pi of cos theta it has to be 0. So, therefore, how we will say? We will say that pi of cos theta it is equal to plus minus pi by 2 is not it. So, therefore, therefore what is cos theta? It is equal to plus minus half. So, what is the value of theta? So, theta null is equal to 60 degree or 120 degree. Correct. So, this is the basically null point 60 degree or 120 degree these are the basically null point. Null point means where there is no field. No field means what? Element factor will be there. Element factor is there. If array factor is coming to be 0 that is basically representing the total field. Right. So, array factor is equal to E t upon E naught. So, point at which the net electric field is 0 that is basically called as nulls. Okay. Third, third, third what they are saying? Angles of maxima. Okay. Maxima means where? Where array factor will become maximum that means for maxima, for maxima or minima. Now, they have asked maxima d of array factor d upon d theta should be equal to 0, is not it maxima. So, that means if I differentiate this with respect to theta and put to 0, we will get the maxima value. So, cos of pi cos theta, is not it. So, therefore, d of d theta cos of pi of cos theta it should be equal to 0. So, let us differentiate it. So, cos it will become sin of pi cos theta is not it. So, this is minus into pi of cos minus sin. So, minus of sin theta is not it. It is equal to 0. So, this is 0. So, now hence it will be 0 when when either sin theta is equal to 0 that means if I consider this to be sin theta is to be 0. So, that means theta is how much? It is 0 degree correct. So, sin theta 0 will be at 0 degree correct ok and uh, or or pi of cos theta will be 0 or pi of cos theta is equal to 0 is not it. So, either sin theta is equal to 0 or pi cos theta 0 is also will give you the 0 value. So, that means cos theta is equal to 0. So, cos theta is equal to 0 means what? Theta is equal to 90 degree or plus minus pi by 2 correct. So, I am getting what? So, I am getting uh, you can say that 0 degree ok. ok. Uh, this can be also 180 degree also is not it because sin pi is also 0. So, in a particular time period so 0 degree ok this is your hmm, pi by 2 plus minus pi by 2. Right. So, if I take only positive value, suppose if I take only positive value, so that means if I take only positive, I will get 0 degree, pi degree and pi by 2, fine. So, therefore, therefore, uh, theta should be equal to 0, 90 degree at 180 degree. These are the points of basically maxima, is not it? 0, so only positive value I am taking only positive value is considered ok. 
okay only positive value actually you can take see here also uh, we have taken this negative as we have taken instead of minus 60 I have taken basically one okay sorry this is negative value so I have taken one take because we have taking angle between 0 to 180 degree because I said that to draw the pattern you have to take only half other half will be taken care of because all the angles are always taken in positive values so that is why I am taking only positive value so this is a basically final answer now coming to the fourth part coming to the fourth part so what is the fourth part draw group pattern okay group pattern means this one that is a f n pi of cos theta uh, you can draw group pattern in two ways right so group pattern that means array factor they are asking now we need to draw the group pattern so group pattern is nothing but your array factor only or normalized array factor there are two ways to draw it I will show you both the way now here we have already found max uh, maxima point minima sorry zero nulls everything is found so we can easily plot it see there are two ways to plot it generally this method we do not use why because you know there are two things that you have to do first you have to find uh, what nulls first you have to find nulls then you have to find maxima so it is a basically and again in maxima also you have to differentiate it if there are two or three functions again you have to check so it is a very tiresome process but in the question they have asked so I have solved otherwise without from the graph also we can conclude to the answer I will show you how first let me go through the question so it is a basically uh, theta let us take theta equal to 0 here this is 60 degree this is 90 degree this is 120 degree and this is 180 degree isn't it so I have taken only positive value negative value will automatically get adjusted adjusted now see what are the maxima point 0 90 and 180 so 0 point 90 point and 180 point are the maxima points okay what are the null points so null points are where so null points are at 60 degree and 120 degree 60 degree and 120 degree are null points that means there will be no electric field in 60 degree and 120 direction but okay 60 degree there will be but there is a maxima here so that means around there will be radiation something like this so there in 60 degree there is no radiation but in 90 degree yes there is radiation in 120 there is no radiation in 180 also there is a radiation is maximum so therefore it will be something like this So you can see that in 60 degree there is null, isn't it? So this is the point of null. This is also point of null, right? So 60 degree and 120 degree are the position of the null. That means no radiation in this direction. But 0 degree, 180 degree, and 90 degree, these are the position of the maximum radiation. So maximum radiation will be here. So exactly replica I have done here. So this is the basically group pattern. Now, so how we have drawn? So I have first calculated the nulls, then I have calculated the maxima and then I have drawn the group pattern. So that means I have to go to the three steps to finally find this value. So this is the final answer actually, okay. So this is the final answer actually. But I will show you a, a small, a very simple method, method 2 j that just we have understood. What is that? Now in the question, if you want to find the nulls or you want to find the maxima, that means you do not have to differentiate you do not have to uh, check the values is not it see here in this case first we have to differentiate now there might be some complex type of situation where d upon d theta will become very complex right so in that case what you will do obviously there is an issue similarly here again you have to check the null that may have to put zero so I, again I have to find so many conditions so it is a lengthy process I will show you a shortcut method to solve it okay so that is the method 2 so in which all this see what was the question actually so the question was to draw the okay normalized array factor okay we have to draw uh, we have to write it angle of nulls angle of maxima and draw so these three can be concluded from one single solution okay one solution you will get all the three answers fine so that means if you know how to draw the group pattern you will come to know where are the nulls and where are the maximum radiation that's it isn't it if you can from the normalized array factor this is the normalized array factor okay now if you draw it you will come to know where is the are the nulls where are the maximas isn't it so that means 
I will just plot this. From here only I will conclude where is the are the nulls and where are the maxima. That will become more simple, isn't it? So both the methods I have shown you. So let me okay. What was the pattern? Uh, actually, I forgot. What was the function? Um, cos of pi cos theta. Cos of pi cos theta. Okay. So this is your cos of pi of cos theta. So alternate method, or you can say this is an alternate method to all the answers. So one method I have shown you, I, have, I am showing you another method, cos of pi of cos theta. Just do what I taught. Make theta, make mod of a f n zero, pi by three, pi by two. 2 pi by 3. Now, somebody may, might ask, sir, how do you know we have to take these values only? No, you can take any values. You can take any values. It is not important that you have to take these values. You can take any other value. Pi by 4 also you can include. No problem. No problem in that. Fine. Okay, let us see. Th cos theta 0, 1 cos pi. Okay, this is mod 1. Pi by 3 cos pi by 3, cos 60, half, pi by 2, 0, pi by 2, 0, 1, 2 pi by 3, pi by 2, 0, 1. Oh, it is looking like a digital, isn't it? 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. Okay, no problem. Now, let us draw it. See, you will finally, so 1, Theta equal to 0, 60 degree, 90 degree, 120 degree, 180 degree. See, at 0 it is 1, see maxima. At pi by 3 it is 0, okay, let me change the color. It is 1, it is 0, pi by 3 it is 0. Again at pi by 2, it is 1. Again at 2 pi by 3 it is 0. So that, okay, so here it is becoming 0, is not it? Again it is maximum and again it is becoming 0 at 120 and at 120 it is 0 and at 1 pi it is 1. Half we have drawn, is not it? So, half of the figure has been drawn, 1 again 0, 1 again 0 and 1. Now, just complete it. See exactly the same figure you have got, see exactly same. Now, these are basically nulls, is not it? Is it simple or not? These are basically nulls and these are basically maxima. See, this is what we have got from the maths and so which one is easy? This one is more easy, fine. So, I have seen students indulging themselves in finding nulls, in finding maximas, then plotting. No, you have drawn the function, just put the value and draw it, you will come to know. Okay, this is a little small, is not it? like this fine so this is the okay this is not the exact means exact means not on the scale you can understand what exactly i have drawn fine so you can see that this method that we have learned it's so powerful that you can find nulls you can find the maximas everything through this question isn't it i hope things are clear okay